Okay, so. Welcome. The service will begin soon. Join us. And we will begin in three minutes. All right, now we will begin. And welcome back to Lebanon. Advent Week 3 service, Joy, 12 7 22, 1 p.m. Lebanon, Connecticut. So we will do the prelude introduction and we will get started on a rainy day in Lebanon. Really, to, today is all things through Christ.
Here are your announcements for today. Thank you, Quiet. That was very pretty. Yes, we can do all things through them. <laughs> so today we continue the four weeks leading up to Christmas. Each service has a certain theme with, so I've covered hope and peace. Today is the theme of joy. And then love is will be the next service. We had the Providence on December 17th. I actually had a bit of a blunder up there this past weekend. Apparently, I was supposed to go to work on December 3rd, and I just totally forgot and got charged for that. But, hey, it happens. And obviously more work with Shoreline East and Metro North will be coming post-semester. I'm thinking probably another trip to Rye or one of those other places that I that we visited along the way. The reset is coming soon. DC will probably be for spring break. So probably for either for a day or overnight, depending on what we can afford at the time. And the end of the semester is next Thursday, so just eight days away. Thank goodness. Actually got really annoyed with both classes, so it'll be nice to just put an end to it. And then that is it. Anything else? No, I did not record the trip to Boston because it wasn't a night. It was kind of a yucky day to do that. So the next time we do that, most likely will. Anything else? Well, it's Advent Week 3, and this week is all about the joy in our lives, and obviously the joy that is to come in 18 days. So receive the call to worship. During the barren land, flowers burst into bloom. Amid the dry desert, streams of water gush forth. Amid sorrow and sighing, joy and gladness dance together. We shall see the glory of God. And will you please rise and stand with me, number 563. Open my eyes that I may see. Open my eyes that I may see glimpses of truth thou hast for me. Place in my hands the wonderful key that shall unclasp and set me free. Silently now I wait for thee. 
Ready, my God, thy will to see. Open thy eyes, illumine me, Spirit divine. Open my ears that I may hear voices of truth thou sendest clear. And well, the wave knows fall on my ear. Everything false will disappear. Silently now I wait for thee. Ready, my God, thy will to see. In my ears illumine me, Spirit divine. Open my mouth and let me bear gladly thy warmth, the truth everywhere. In my heart and let me prepare love with thy children thus to share. Silently now I wait for thee, ready, my God, thy will to see. Open my heart, illumine me, spirit divine. That's a pretty hymn. We never, we haven't used that one before. I have to use that again. So let's pray. Lord, this afternoon, on a rainy day, you open our eyes that we may see. You are the God of glory. We rejoice in the good news of your promises. Come into our parched world and shower us with your gushing, abundant water of life. Enter our brokenness and renew us with the strength of your love. Be born anew in our hearts and our world. Come, Jesus, come. We are ready, as you will come in 18 days. In your name we pray. Amen. Hark the herald angels sing. Two seventy seven. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king. Peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled. Joyful all ye nations rise, join the triumph of the sky. With a jelly host proclaim, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Christ my high is heaven adore, Christ the everlasting Lord. Late in time, behold him come, lost reign of a virgin's womb. Well, in bless the Godhead see, hail the incarnate deity, pleases men when men to dwell, Jesus or Emmanuel. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king. Hail the heavenborn prince of peace, hail the son of righteousness, light and life to all he brings. Risen with in his wings, when he lays his glory by, poor man, man no more may die, born to raise the sons of earth, but to live the second birth. Hark the herald angels sing. Glory to the newborn king. And our anthem is almost there.
Give it gratis, uh, you're almost there, you're almost there, you're almost there, almost there, you're Back to the teacher. All right, thank you, Quiet. That was very pretty. And yes, we are almost there. So we come to the place of prayer this afternoon, and it is the time where we can lift each other up. Obviously, with it being this holiday season, there is a lot of joy that we can have with each other, and certainly a lot of joy to be had. We also, as usual, want to continue to pray for the people in Parkland, uh, the nightclub in Colorado, and certainly the usual people as well, as that list just seems to keep on growing and growing week after week. And of course, I will give you opportunity to lift up those that you know, and the person today is, you guessed it, thou just leave thy throne. It's a good person for this time of year. And apparently YouTube doesn't like Christ be our light used two times in a row. But they haven't flagged this one. So thou just leave thy throat. We'll do the first two verses, pray, and then, the, then all of that. Thou didst leave thy throne and thy kingly crown when thou camest to earth for me. Thou in Bethlehem's home was there found no room for thy holy nativity. Oh, come to my heart, Lord Jesus, there is room in my heart for thee. Heaven's arches ring when the angels 
held claim in thy royal degree. By a lowly birth didst thou come to earth and degrade humility. Oh, come to my heart, Lord Jesus, there is room in my heart for thee. Lord, this afternoon, we know that you left your throne for us. As it is a time where we can just think about what really matters. The people in our lives and the people that you bring to us. This semester has been one that can be classified as a tale of two semesters. One that was off to a dreadful start. To one where you'll end up being just an average performance in both classes. And certainly, there is opportunity down the road. If we want to take one of them again, we can. But in this time of joy, obviously there is joy of fi finishing the semester strong. And certainly the joy of having a much needed break to just sit back and just contemplate what happened this semester and to look ahead to what the next class has in store for us. There's the old adage of work hard, play hard. And that's exactly what is happening here. On December 15th, we can put aside the books and the, and the daily routine. To just sit back and just enjoy the holidays, enjoy, enjoy what this time of year means. On this Pearl Harbor Day, we remember those that gave the ultimate sacrifice on the Jeff Spare in Pearl Harbor for our ultimate freedom. In this Christmas season, we want to be around certain people. We want to be around those that we love and cherish. But in order to have what we to be around the people that we love and cherish, there's certainly steps to be taken. For example, the people in Parkland. As I mentioned last week, spending a holiday together without their loved ones, thanks to one person's selfish actions, with the need to kill and the need to pull a gun out is far greater than their empathy or regard for human life and how precious it is. And for myself personally, I would pray that these moods that I get in, in, that I get in, they would come to a stop. Because obviously that kind of behavior, the behavior that leads to it, leads people to not want to spend much time around us. We know that this is, this obviously is due to what occurred over a year ago and certainly the trauma that has occurred even after it. We pray that we would get a new Wilbur, a new Boston. That'll put a patch on that wound. But obviously the wound that people have left behind on me, those never really heal up. They only heal up after a certain period of time. And hopefully the joy of 2023 can bring more of that more of it back into our fo to our focus and our and into the things that we can look forward to. As that is what I'll be talking about in the message coming up shortly.
But with all this goodness, sadness is never far behind. We think of Grandma's roommate, how he might be on death's door. Though we never wish ill will on anybody, we just pray that maybe he, that his family would just take care of him and not leave all the responsibility on her. We pray for Michelle Buscarello's parents in a horrible accident the other day. And for the viewers at home, we pause and give you the chance to listen. Lift up those that you know. And so it's to this end, you left your throne for us. And just as much as we look forward to the joys of Christmas, we look forward to what else you have up your sleeve for us. In all of this, we pray in that prayer, saying together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as earth it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Thou didst leave thy throne and thy kingly crown when thou camest to earth for me. But in Bethlehem's hall was there found no room for thy holy nativity. Oh, come to my heart, Lord Jesus, there is room in my heart for thee. Heaven's arches ring when the angels sing, proclaiming thy royal decree. But of lowly birth didst thou come to earth, and in great humility. Oh, come to my heart, Lord Jesus, there is room in my heart for thee. The heavens shall reign and the angels sing at thy coming to victory. Let thy voice call me home, and yet there is room, there is room at my side for thee. Oh, come to my heart, Lord Jesus, there is room at my heart for thee. There is room in my heart for thee. All right, it is operatory time, which means it's a time where I invite you to subscribe to this channel. We're aiming for a thousand subscribers, so we could get so these videos can be monetized. So obviously, if you care about these videos, and I'm not just sitting up here, sitting here listening to myself talk, you know, obviously, if these videos mean something to you guys, please subscribe to this channel and be sure to follow me on social media.
Facebook.com slash Nick Miller 4331. Instagram is available to Patreon and Twitter. So with all that in mind, our offer tour today is a time for Advent. And will the ushers please come forward as we receive the afternoon's gifts and offering. So time for Advent by Stuart Harrison.
Please rise. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Lord, in 18 days we will soon behold you as this is the time to wait for you just as much as we wait for easter at Lent, we wait for your birth even now so take these gifts and multiply them and make yourself known throughout the world as we try to eke through the next eight days of this semester and we look forward to what the off season has in store for us in jesus name amen please be seated All right, so we have a couple of readings today. <laughs> and what I do is I Google like the lectionary for the week. Um, saying, okay, like I Google like, you know, what readings are appropriate for week three. So Isaiah 35, 1 to 10, and then James chapter 5, 7 to 10. So it's not just Isaiah 53 we read here. It's other chapters of it as well. Isaiah 35. Wilderness and desert will sing joyously. The badlands will celebrate and flower. Like the crocus in spring bursting into blossom, a symphony of song and color, mountain glories of Lebanon. Hmm. Again. Awesome Carmel, stunning sharing gifts. God's resplendent glory fully on display. God awesome, God majestic. Energize the limp hands, strengthen the rubbery knees. Tell fearful souls, courage, take heart. God is here, right here, on his way to put things right. And redress all wrong. He's on his way, he'll save you. Blind eyes will be open, deaf ears unstopped. Lame men and women will leap like deer, the voiceless break into song. Springs of water will burst out in the wilderness. Stream will flow in the desert. Hot sands will become a cool oasis. Thirsty ground, a splashing fountain. Even lowly jackals will have water to drink, and barren grasslands flourish richly. There will be a highway called the Holy Road. No one rude or rebellious, or rebellious is forbidden on this road. It is for God's people exclusively. Impossible to get lost on this road. Not even fools can get, can get lost on it. No lions on this road. No dangerous wild animals. Nothing and no one dangerous or threatening. Only the redeemed will walk on it. The people God has ransomed will come back on this road. They'll sit as they make their way home to Zion. Unfaded halos of joy encircling their heads. Welcomed home with gifts of joy and gladness. As all sorrows and sights scurry into the night. 
By the way, that was Lebanon, the country, not Lebanon, Connecticut. And now the James chapter 5, 7 to 10, which illustrates that same idea. Meanwhile, friends, wait patiently for the master's arrival. You see, farmers do this all the time, waiting for their valuable crops to mature, patiently letting the rain do its slow but sure work. Be patient like that. Stay steady and strong. The master could arrive at any time. Friends don't complain about each other. A far greater complaint could be lies against you, you know. The judge is standing just around the corner. Take the old prophets as your mentor. They put up with anything, went through everything, and never once quit, quit. All the time honoring God. What a gift life is to those who stay the course. You've heard, of course, if jobs stay in power. And you know how God brought it all together for him at the end. That's because God cares. Cares right down to the last detail. Here is the reading of a God and blessing to the reading of these holy words. So... What are the joys of 2022? Well, let's sort of take a look. Let's take a look at 2022 in review. Obviously, very early on in 2022, we were facing a lot of adversity. I didn't have my car, and certainly Wilbur's health was declining. So I thought, well, what is there? At the time, I was thinking, well, I'm like, well, what kind of life is this? So, the spring 22 semester came, and I saw there was an opportunity. An opportunity to do what I do now. So, we rose to the occasion and said to them, look, if you can help me out. I could really use it. And they welcomed me in with, o with open arms. So the job came along, and then Eduardo came along, which obviously thought was what I thought sounded good at the time. Of course, at that time, I was allowed to use Grandma's car obviously leading up to when I got my own. So then we get into the middle of May, I get my new car, and then voila, and then it was like a complete way off my shoulders. Unfortunately, we had to say goodbye to Wilbur. But as we walked through 2022, I, things got better, and then of course, over the summer there, we reached that low point. A low point of thinking, man, like we get into that mindset thinking, what would it be like if something didn't happen? The fact is, we can't change what happened now. We are only moving forward into what the things that I have control over now. Number one, continue to take that trade. 
you know? Number two, now it's about recognizing the fact that West Haven now is just a stop. We may see the ghosts of the past, but it's the under, it's coming to a place of understanding the fact that, you know what? This is how it is. Because obviously you can't go that way all the time, and you can't go up all the time. That gets boring. And anything that involves going the other way, guess what? That involves going through West Haven. One way or another. So there is a lot of joy to be had this year. And obviously facing that adversity. Obviously with these two classes. Which were two, which started out as total opposites. Had the devast Had the. Well I believe what I was calling it. The dreadful start in public speaking. But then off to a really strong start in. Spreadsheet applications, and they kind of just evened out here right at the end. And as mentioned at the top, can always go back and take these classes again. Because I found most of the time, if I take a certain class again the second time, it all clicked. It made sense of why we do things a certain way. I did tell the computer teacher that most likely she will see me again. And this is the joy of this year. Having this this one instructor that makes time for her students. Not just me, but a lot of other, but everybody in that class as well. I give this woman kudos. Kudos. She, you know, she will help you. She will walk you through step by step on how to get something done. And I made the suggestion to her. You know, with the harder material, maybe, maybe make it like the textbook project where it watch you literally step by step. I said to her, you know, maybe make it like that. Saying, oh, to do this, remember to go to this tab, this, and so on. Because sometimes people forget. Like this last test, I got a 31 on. Hey, it was an off. Hey, it was an off night. It's just because it's just you do you do the reviews and then you just for then your mind just draws a blank and then you just are just like okay, just throw the towel and just be like yeah, be like oh whatever you know, be like oh we're doing fine in this class anyway, you know you can have a bad grade here here and there yeah. And then I explained it to her what had happened, and she understood. She's like, that is part of being on the spectrum. I told her, you know, not having the area to just focus and do these things at home leads us into this place of feeling like, oh, she feeling like, oh, we have to rush through things. Because you never know when somebody's going to kick off. The job this year has made a major impact in, in a real positive way. It has opened the door to allowing us to continue to use the one resource that we took away from going to West Haven every week. You know, use it. It helps. It is so relaxing. Like, we went to Boston the other day, and when we came home, we were all, we were still energized, and we and I took the family to ninety nine. Now, I found a what I thought was a fraudulent charge on my card, and I think the bank is treating as such. It's just like the original plan was post semester to go see Eduardo in El Paso. Now I had completely forgotten all about this. And maybe I hit something like 
buy, deserve now, pay later. You know, it, just, it was just something silly. And I and I told the and I talked to the manager this morning. I just told her, hey, I forgot. Told him. I told him I forgot. And then they're like, oh, we'll charge you anyway for it. It's just like, no. I said, take that charge off my card. How am I paying some paying for something that I didn't do? I mean, we want to go somewhere. I want to fly myself back on my favorite airline again. And this is what we can look forward to in 2023. So every year, there is a goal. And there are a few goals for 2023. One, we're going to get a new Boston. That's clear as day. Second, you know, we want to go somewhere. Third, we want to develop a healthy relationship with dad one way or another. Because no way, because you know what? No, there is no way I am ready to take on the outside world by myself. We're not ready for that. I think a lot safer at home. It was like pulling teeth to get that new car. And you know what? He did it. He had to do it. So there's so much joy. There was a lot of joy this year. Even though we faced some adversity and obviously we had a few blunders along the way. But that will happen. No year is perfect. And the joy of this time of year is that as we get closer to Christmas, we start to think of that joyous day to come where, you know, we sing, go tell it on the mountain, Jesus Christ is born. Now, you're probably thinking, why did I put Heart the Herald and Angel Sin in today? That was a suggested hit for this week. I know a lot of people think, you know, basically, the hymnal that I have, it it doesn't really give you, like, any suggestions for, like, oh, Advent, week one, week two, week three, week four. So, I rely on ministry matters, uh, lectionary, things like that. And usually I ask Pastor Tom, I ask him, like, well, what do you think would be appropriate for this time of year? Or like for this week. And so on. The thing is. When you set things right. With yourself. Life gets better. You know I think. Charlie would be very impressed. With what I have been, but I think he honestly would be impressed with what we were able to do this year, even though he's no longer here, and obviously he obviously hates me. But you know what? That's on him, and who cares? He can hate me all he wants. But you know what? I shouldn't say hate, dislike me. But there's a lot that we can look forward to here in 20, in 2023. And, I, and there's one thing I can look forward to. Today's my last day at Wyndham Tech. Being the doorman. Thank God. Mm. I know it's part of the job. I just, I just, don't, like, I just don't like doing that. It's, it's very boring. <sighs> Oh, well. But this is the joy of this time of year. You can just sit back and just reflect on the whole year and real and understand the fact that God is at work in our lives each and every day.
And that is today's message. Amen. Closing heavens, angels, we have heard on high. Two seventy eight. Angels, we have heard a high, sweetly seated o'er the place, and the mountains in reply echo back their joyous rain. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Gloria, and it shall cease day. Shepherds, why this jubilee? Why your joyous rays prolong? Why the glad song tidings be, which inspire your heavenly song? Gloria, in its jealousy's day, Gloria. In Excelsis Deo. Up to Bethlehem and see him whose birth the angels sing. Come on your unbended knee, Christ the Lord, the newborn king. Glory. In Excelsis Deo, Gloria, in Excelsis Deo. Within a manger lay, Jesus, Lord of heaven and earth, Mary Joseph, lend your aid with us in our Savior's birth. Gloria, it is Chelsea's day. Gloria. In its Chelsea's day, receive the benediction. that check. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he help you find the joys in life and enjoy the simple things in life. And thank you for watching. And the next slide tells you what's up next. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord, let us now depart in peace. Who in thy name are gathered here. This was the brightness of thy face, and be forever near. Amen.
So here's what nets. Here's what's up nets. The Nets train ride will be December 17th, Friday. Post semester will be Ride New York. Worship service Advent Week 4 will be next Friday. And Christmas Eve service 1224 at 5 p.m. And thank you for watching.